Resident Evil fans are going crazy over this brand new Resident Evil 9 concept art that just got leaked. Meanwhile, Resident Evil 5 just got a new update which strongly suggests that we will be getting the announcement of the remake very soon. And a new mod for the RE2 remake was just released, and trust me when I say that this mod is quite literally a game changer. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Recapped, the series where on the 25th of every month I will be going over all the Resident Evil news that I could find, including official announcements, credible leaks, and a lot more. So, let's get straight into it, shall we? Recently, the files for Resident Evil 5 have been updated on Steam in the same way that RE4's files were updated right before we got the announcement of the RE4 remake, and this has a lot of fans excited because a while back it was leaked that Capcom would be announcing a big game this year. And people immediately pointed to the game being either Resident Evil 9 or the Resident Evil 5 remake because we already know that Capcom has 5 Resident Evil games in development right now and RE9 is definitely one of these games since we know it has been in development since 2019 and it will have the longest development of any Resident Evil game so far. And with the ending cutscene of the RE4 remake strongly alluding to the fact that we will indeed be getting a RE5 remake sometime soon, I think it's safe to say that either one of these games Games could be announced at pretty much any time now, cause Capcom doesn't just update their games for nothing. So Resident Evil 5 getting that update was definitely them preparing to do something with the remake, whether that would be announcing it or just adding the files onto Steam so that when they do announce it they can make it available for pre-order, they were definitely doing something, so I would keep my eyes peeled for any RE5 remake news, as a trailer could drop at literally any moment. And now I want to talk about Resident Evil 9, cause recently some concept art for the game got leaked and it seems pretty legit. Hey, real quick, while I was editing the video, I went back to the video with the concept art so I could show some on screen, and the video has since been deleted, which means it could be legit and it was taken down by Capcom, or it could be fake and the uploader decided to remove the video, so I don't really know what to think about this, but I am keeping this section in the video just in case it was legit, I want to keep you guys informed. And I'll put the link to the uploader of the leaked uh, concept arts channel in the description of the video if you guys guys want to check it out for yourselves. And now, back to the video. As much as I hate saying this, and you guys probably hate hearing it by now, take everything I'm about to show you with a grain of salt since it was just uploaded onto YouTube and not actually revealed by Capcom. Now let's get into the concept art which shows several pictures of Jill Valentine in different outfits and settings, with one of the images showing her in a military battle suit similar to the one she wore in RE5, but this time she's sporting her classic beret like in RE1. The second image shows her with her hair down in more of a casual outfit, but you could see she has a microphone earpiece, probably to talk to the BSAA headquarters or Chris Redfield, and both of these images look super official. The only thing that would point to them being fake is that they look a little bit too different from each other, especially for it being the same game and the same team of artists who designed the concept art. They look like two completely different styles altogether. But then again, that might just be because one of them is an older scrapped design and one is more of a newer current design, but at the end of the day, we won't know until Resident Evil 9 comes out, or at least gets announced and we see a trailer for the game. And if you're enjoying the video so far, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below as it's completely free and it helps out the channel immensely. It never fails to impress me how over the last 5 years this game has continued to stay relevant even without any online co-op or co-op whatsoever. Of course I'm talking about the RE2 remake, which has once again gone viral, this time for its new fixed camera angle mod which doesn't seem that interesting at first until you actually play it, then it provides a whole new way to play the game and it makes it feel completely fresh, to where it almost feels like a brand new game that I've never played before. Yeah, it's that good, so if you ever have any free time on your hands and you want to play some RE2, I would definitely suggest downloading this mod, I promise, you won't regret it. This mod is truly phenomenal, so please check it out if you have time, and also make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all on the next one.